Cities are littered with dust, remnants of nameless faces, things walking the streets, invisibly drifting down the corridors. We miss one another as we pass. I feel we are all in this together, yet never have I felt so completely isolated from human experience. Perhaps we're all functioning below grade level, from one generation to the next. The aged to the very young, old before their time. We learn to live these plagiarized lives out of the gate. Like trained hounds chasing a mechanical lure, we no longer live by instinct, but by rote. I long to reclaim my senses, to embrace a remembrance of things past a child's radiant capacity for wonder and surprise. Another part of me was telling myself that I'm quite prepared for my daughter not to talk to me for a few, for a few years if I didn't give her the part because I found somebody better. My first audition was through a video conference. It was just me in a room and my dad and Beth Melsky were on the other side. I got really sick beforehand. Like I was in my bathroom vomiting everywhere. Sorry. Can we start over? Sorry. It was because it was my dad and because it's like I wanted to impress him and I wanted to show him. Like, because he told me, he was like, I honestly, like, I don't want to give you the part because I don't want it to seem like you only got it because of me. I was very self-conscious of the fact that, <clears throat> you know, I want this unknown actress to play this part. And by the way, she just happens to be my daughter. And by the way, she's never done a movie. It's taken so long <laughs> to get here. It's been a tough slog, but uh, Tony and I have been with this for five years. We had a, a, an, another cast and we basically put the cast together um, you know, within six, seven, eight, nine weeks of the shoot, we had to kind of completely begin again. Um, only uh, Betty, uh, Betty Kay, my my d daughter, had um, had been with the movie. Well, not officially. <laughs> but she'd been with the, she'd been with the script for uh, for two or three years because I gave it to her a long time ago. What we hope is that we make a, a film that we can be proud of and that can touch a lot of people because that's. It's not really a, a rationale behind why most people make films today. It's mostly about the bottom line, but I, we want to sort of uh, touch some hearts. The hearts have been touching out there. Yeah. And there are a lot of them. And we think there's a mass audience for this film. And we hope that we get the chance to entertain them as well and make them think. I want to see people in 360 degrees. I want to see them happy, generous, mean, I want to see him whisper, I want to see him shout, and I want to see him cry. Adrian's a tremendously respected actor, and uh, and rightly so. Take that yellow fly spotter out, just because that's obviously not the way it was. The rest is fine. That's good. It was a privilege for all of us, really, to help him create the performance that was the central one to the story. That's it. We don't need to do any more bits on walls or anything. We got it. You know, the cat's got it all. He can do it by doing nothing in front of the camera and he can go in the front of the camera and explode and get angry and shout and it transmits in spades. The pleasure that I get is from working with the actors and getting uh, performances from them and really opening, you know, opening them up and, and getting um, bigger performances than than, um, than maybe what is currently in vogue. I came to America to work with American actors, watching American movies. I always found that actors in America were much more willing to break down and to be, and to be open for the camera. More often than not, I, I have no idea what I'm gonna do other than help these people to empty themselves out. It, it's important that they're, they're out of control, you know. They, they've got to throw the control over to you. 
even though you don't necessarily abuse it and you don't take control, which to me is not, it, it, it's a very, it's, it's a very fine line. It's a very, you know, it's a, a delicate line that you have to walk, you know.